Now I'm after my psychic appointment. Yeah, I must have held on to my colour so like that. Mm. <laughs> uh, what I got from Sainsbury's was. Good morning everybody, ignore the state of me, it's glow up day, um, I'm coming to you at 12 o'clock, um, I've had the boiler and gas man here today, um, I've washed my hair this morning, I've, washed, I've been up since about half five, so I got up at half five, edited my YouTube video, the gas man came at half eight, uh, he left about half an hour ago and I finished my editing, I'm on to my next video. My plan is for today, I'm going to run and get some exfoliating gloves, I'm going to scrub off properly and re today. And then, I don't know which way to go. I'm going to go to B&M and get some scrubbing pan mitts. Um, and then, yes, and then I'm ready to tan tonight because I want to be tan tomorrow because I've got some content to film. I'm absolutely freezing, it's literally 8 degrees. When I woke up this morning, it was 2 degrees, I was like, bloody hell. Um, it was honestly so cold. Oh, they're putting up like Halloween stuff. That's so cute. Um, so yeah, my plan is today is we're gonna go to be and get gloves, walk the doggies, and then we're gonna go to, my nan and dad are gonna come and cut the grass while it's dry. We're gonna go for a little run later. Um, I need to sort my hair out, I've done nothing with it today. I look like a bloody, I don't know what, I'm in the wrong gear. So the plan, that's the plan for today. Um, they're gonna tan lighter and tidy my room and just a bit of a chilled start to the week, which is nice. Honestly, I cannot tell you how freezing cold I am. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I don't know if I just popped to Tesco. They'll probably do exfoliating gloves right in there rather than going to B&M. I think I'll do that. I could do with a hot, oh, honestly, I'm freezing. I forgot how much like, we love hot drinks in this year like no in this time of year like autumn cozy drinks are what we what we want can't speak today but yes and then tomorrow I'll, i know i'm seeing joe not 100 percent of the plans and then wednesday i'm going to meet georgie we're going out for the day thursday um i'm going to the psychic and i'm looking after bella um friday no set plans so that's the kind of what the week's going to entail as a rough you know as a rough um <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about i really don't also guess what my score has really gone up we're on a 70 out of 100 nearly just call me a pro fiat driver i tell you um, Dan's, Dan's drove it a couple of times to make sure it's got a perfect score because obviously he's a manual king. Excuse me. Okay, let's go to Tesco. I'm going to run and get some exfoliating gloves and I'll be back. but they literally had one and it was like 10 pound i was like i don't think it's worth 10 pound because <laughs> i tried it before it's the dove one and they're nice but to get off tan they're more just good for like a top up of a body exfoliator and i also got myself a little coffee i got a maple hazel latte and i spilt it all over the till and i had to get the lady to give me some kitchen roll to tidy up because I'd spilt it all over the till and half my coffee's gone, but it's okay. I just needed a warm drink and we've got no milk. I gave it to the man who was doing the boiler and gas meter. So I should have bought it from Jupin to Tesco. Why did I not get any milk? I'm an idiot. And I'm going to go and walk the dogs and then I'm going to do some work. I just want to get the dogs walked and done with because 
it's freezing and I'd like some lunch when I get back. I'm gonna make myself like a little picnic. I'm gonna have like some, some a reel of tuck biscuits. I'm gonna have some tuck biscuits, some meat, maybe some salmon in Philadelphia. Just like a nice little snack box with some like salad and that lovely yummy stuff. So yeah, so that is the plan of action. It really feels like winter, like all the trees, the weather, it's just crazy, but we love it. So I will speak to you when I'm back and I make my lunch. Put your feet up next to mine. Hey, we're from all the friends of video, so then I thought about all of them, the low damn things that he's been doing behind my bed. How does he sleep at night? Near the counter line for the blue school. Lunch. I've got a big tablespoon of hummus, cucumber, celery, sauerkraut, a little bit of Matterson sausage, a baby bell barami, tomato, olives, baby bell, and some tuck biscuits. Go dinner. Mm. So hungry. Just eating that, and I'm gonna do some more editing, and then they're coming to do the garden. Um, so yeah. I'm so hungry. Be okay. Oh. Hello. The evening has approached and I've managed to get out of going for a run. So I'm going to have a bath and then I'm going to make dinner. I'm just going to scrub a bit more of my tan off. Just move my hair off. I wish I knew you wanted me like you do. Oh, good to go. That'll get copyrighted, it's so good. Oh, get one. Oh, I don't want it all. Okay. Back, hold on. They're gonna be. For the armpits. First blends, second blends. Then their blends. Got not got much left.
Rory's got a, um, a Rachel Green flick. <laughs> Darling. Look at his hair. He clicked out. He's all just. He's all just. Mwah. Hey. Mwah. Looks like hair went so much. I get super. So special. All done. Good morning, happy Tuesday angels. So, I am just editing. I got about half five again this morning, so I'm proud. I'm just finishing off a vlog, which you will, will already be live when you see this, I'm assuming, I hope. Um, I'm just editing a YouTube video, and then I've got a film that had to go into it. But I didn't end up tanning last night because I am... Um, I forgot I need to use my IPL, so I'm going to tan tonight. Um, and yes, so I can't. I forgot I can't tan, so I've left myself pale, and I'm ready to do the hair removal. And I'm really excited to film the segment because I've been. I'm excited to tell you my thoughts. So I'm just editing the vlog for that 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 will go in, which is last week's weekly vlog. And I am just got all I'll have to do then is slot in the you like ad section at the start. So my plan is today, I'm going to edit this, I'm then going to put some skincare on, get myself semi ready for the day, I'm then going to go and tidy my bedroom, and then at some point I need to walk the dogs, I'm going to see, uh, go into the van with Dan later, and then um, I'm not sure if I'm seeing Jode. So that's the rough plan for today, um, <clears throat> just getting my work done first. And yeah, but I just wanted to check in and say good morning. I didn't want you to think I had forgotten about you. So that is the plan so far. And that's all I've been doing. Um, I've had my coffee, had my shot, had my greens. Done. I just need to have my two Brazil nuts. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm just driving to get Jode. And we're going to go for a coffee day. It is 20 past 12. I've been really busy this morning. So I'm sorry for the lack of communication um i have been real busy filming <laughs> my sunglasses have made a right dent in my head sorry my sunglasses got caught in my head then and that was not a vibe um yeah i'm just gonna go and get joe we're gonna go for a nice little coffee date this morning i've been working 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 and it's all finished and then dan's gonna be home in like an hour so we're then gonna go and get um 
gonna go and look at a van for him then I'm gonna walk the doggies then I've got some butter tonight and oh that lady's really smiling um so yeah a good day so far oh no an ambulance ah Yeah, I don't know whether to get a matcha. I really enjoyed my matcha the other day. I had um, it with vanilla and white chocolate and it was really yummy. So I might get a matcha. I'm gonna run out of petrol. So I need to go and put some petrol in tonight before tomorrow. I'm really excited to take you guys shopping tomorrow. And we're meeting a new friend, but I don't feel nervous because we speak a lot over voice note. So I don't feel very nervous to meet her, to be honest. Um, I'm excited. Um, so yeah, good vibes. Um, the weather is cold, but cold but sunny and I feel like that is a, like the perfect sort of autumnal weather. I've got a Primark jumper on, I've got on, um, doesn't that look like Bella? Um, I've got a H&M like Jacobus scarf on and then I've also got on the, some Adenola coffee bean leggings and then just some socks and chestnut uggs. So we've gone autumnal and cosy. Um, I might go a bit early to Zumba and fill up the car at Asda because you don't have to like get out to do a pipe pump it's just like a little drive-in window it's not like a proper petrol station I don't think there is pipe pump I don't know I'm not 100% sure don't quote me um, so yeah so let's go and get Jode and I'll see you at I don't know where we're going for coffee but I'm assuming it's Starbucks um, have a lovely day. hello let me know if you need anything yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let me know. Well, let me know. Yes, thanks to you. Yes, I'm excited for a drink. Where should we go, Starbucks? Um, Where do you think? Do you have any preference? No, Starbucks, no, no preference. Be no, nice when we have a bread. I oh, know, who did you hear that from? Um, who is the source? A girl at Costa. Uh, a worker. Because I, she, we just got chatting while she was making my drinks. There was a big queue, and she was like, "I was like, she doesn't like coffee, blah blah blah." What, Starbucks or Costa? What would you prefer? Mm, Starbucks. Okay. Shall I More go to options. the Longford one? Yeah. Um. So I heard it off the lady. She was like, um, "There's a pre opening at the outlet," and I was like, "Really?" And she was like, <laughs> "Yeah." And I was like, "How do you know if you don't like coffee?" And yeah, she was okay. like. Um, it's been the talk of the town in the coffee really? world and I said really I suppose they communicate yeah, no new guess, competition on yeah. the block so it's that's what made me believe it and then yeah. I wonder when that new coffee place will open at the Greek zone what's that? did I not tell you? no right so uh, one day when it was really really raining Phil I hadn't seen you that week and me and my nan went to get a Greek on like a Wednesday or Thursday yeah. and she was like it was, really wasn't busy, busy and I was like what are you going to do in the winter you know just curious and yeah. she was like well we're opening a coffee shop, um, and God, you can eat it in be there. A lot of coffee. Yeah, she was like, you can eat it in there, and I was like, really? Uh, and she was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, cool. cool. And then she was like, she just kind of pointed like over there, and I was like, oh. And then when I was walking the other day, um, it said opening soon. And it was a cafe, and I was like, that must be it. And it's like, uh, it, you know, like where the Greek is now, the new bit. Well, I haven't been since. It okay, moved. so you know where the toilets where? are that we don't go to, like by Pizza Express. Yeah. And then if you were to walk back along the back towards Slim Chickens, yeah, it's on one of the back walls. We're on about at the outlet if you're local. God, it's really going up, but there's going to be so much choice. I know, I know. And I was like, we were on about food, and I was on about um, Nando's, and she was like, yeah, it's rumoured that's in the next phase. Well, that's funny you say that because have you heard this too? No, I haven't. Mm, I don't know, but I don't know if it's TikTok or Instagram, but you know, like the street TikTokers, well, it was at the outlet, but it was like West Midlands, and someone was like, what do you wish was here? And someone was like, Primark. I don't know what they said. Yeah. But then the comments was like Nando's, and West Midlands had replied like a wink or something. Right. Like, there was something. There was, hints. There was something. There was I was like, mm, I was like <laughs> yeah. What is that? Right. So kind of, and I was like, but where? Well, but then like, where's the new phase going to be? Is it going to be on the car park we're not allowed on like, all the time? Well, that's, like that's what it was rumoured at the beginning that that was going to be like the next bit, which is why they didn't concrete it. Right. It's like the stones. Yeah. I mean, I'm not being funny. Get a move on. Oh, no. We're, we're used to the phase now. There's no foundations on the floor. No. There's no movement. Like, no. Oh, I just still don't get why they lock the car park sometimes. I know. I don't. So it's just tease. Us. Sorry, like, not this, here today, This guys. is so boring for you guys who don't go to the West Midlands. <laughs> <laughs> Losers. <laughs> get to know. <laughs> it's um, going to be huge though if all this stuff does come. 
it do, it is and it'll be elite then yeah we'll have to the food options for us other than waggers like i don't care for any of the others no like dan's like oh but do you fancy five guys i'm exactly, like no, no do you fancy I slim chickens no. no like waggers or greek is the only yeah. reason i go there and all I stops i haven't had a greek for months oh. i've only had greek with me once with you Fuck and then i took ollie but i was being like strict that was before your holiday one. wasn't it yeah I didn't even get one, Ollie just had one. You need to get back into it. I know. It's just a, such a good all rounder, and because it's not like, because they cook it in front of you, at least it's not greasy or processed. Yeah. Like, it's just a good, and like, say if you, it's a nice day, it's nice to eat there, but like, at least you can take it home, take if, it you home want. if you need, yeah. It's true. Just feels like, um, you know, unproblematic. Mm. Um, Very but then, like, when it's cold and rainy, like, it's not nice. Yeah, like, it's I, not I, that's what they need to sort. Yeah, a bit really. of a. Do you have anywhere like this, guys, that we're on about? Like, it's like a kind of like a food cart, but not as permanent. Yeah, it's um, like... It's the only way to explain it, right? It's like a yeah. proper... It's cuisina if you have one near you. Yeah. Like, we've got one in Birmingham. But an outdoor... Yeah, it's like an outdoor... Truck vibe. Yeah. Like a food van sort of thing, but isn't it? It's per, Yeah, trailer. It's not going anywhere. Um... But let us know what you like. Your favourite thing to eat is like. We always are looking for new options. We, are, we love a new restaurant. Nothing better than going somewhere new and thinking, hmm, what can I have? Yes. And then, oh, I love that. I must tell people. <laughs> Went to this best place the other day. <laughs> yeah, not heard of that. Mm, love to know more. To be fair, I did go somewhere. Yeah, oh, that place on Friday night. Yeah. Well, so where did you go? So it was like Bradford Arms, guys. If you. um that's in Warsaw, so it's like Indian, but it's mixed grill. You don't like get, you can get curries, but it's more like you get a big plate of like chicken wings and like lamb chops, and you know, it's very like picky. Yeah. But it was a different version, but it was a lot nicer actually. Really? You think Bradford Arms could be beat, but. It can. Yeah, I text my brother straight away because he's an addict of it, and I was like, you must go. Really? Yeah. What did you have? I had, Ollie had the mixed grill and all of his brothers did, but I'm not joking, they were this big. Were they huge? Like, they could did have you, shared one between Did you get a lot of food? A lot Because I wasn't getting hungry to like, six, were you? No, well, we, we didn't, were we didn't from go till our, nine, so it's right, perfect. Yeah, because we, we obviously went, went for lunch late. in the morning and like, we ate so much sweet And then we shit. had the cake of the afternoon. It's your mum, she's know. such a bad influence. It's a bit dangerous. She didn't give a choice, she was like, it's your birthday, I'll have it I was like, oh, okay. She tapped the card before I'd even picked the cross on. I know. She was She'll like, yeah, that. yeah, she's having one of those free coats. She's got us out the fridge. Literally. We didn't have a choice. No, but I didn't go till nine, so it's perfect. I was getting hungry. Getting hungry, yeah. So it was Absolutely. Brilliant. Did you have a nice birthday? I did Tell have the vlog. A nice birthday. You did. I had a lovely birthday. Good. Got up really, not late, but like I didn't put an alarm. Yeah, you on. didn't. I, I expected earlier from you. Like when did you text me at like half 11, just getting ready? I was like, that's very casual I for know. Jody. I was shocked. Well, I got, I think I woke up at eight. We chilled in bed till nine. Opened my car. She went to bath. Yeah, went to bath. But like, we took the dogs for a walk, that's why. So right. I was like, I don't want to take them late. I was like, I don't no, want to take no. them back. So Were I, you like, back late? Walked them. Um, I think we got back about half nine, half nine. Oh, okay. Then the fight was on, so we all just watched the fight. How long did um, it take you to get to Bath? About two and a half, just under? Yeah, about two. On the way back, it felt like half an hour, though. And what it was your review does. of Bath? Bath, I think, is really nice, and I would definitely go back. I think it if you're nice. looking for somewhere, like... Because it's, it's like city. It's got everything a city would have. City but scenic. It's beautiful. It is pretty. Yeah, like, I, I've never been in... Nowhere's like... There's this, England. like, I wish it... Like, you, we need to go, really. There's this beautiful place in Bath called Sweet Little Things, and really? I don't know whether you saw it, but you probably wouldn't notice. I don't know. Um, and... Oh, I've, and it's incredible. It's it's I like a cute. Like, a it's got like it. swings and stuff, and it's all like it's like a very cute like Inez like vibe. Yeah, you know, I think like, we did. Um, like, it was beautiful. Definitely go. A lot of you guys messaged saying they're going, and I was like, oh, look at you. Really? Yeah. I feel like Bath is a, a Bath. Do you know when we ought to go for a day trip at Christmas? Because yeah, all the, the Christmas the markets there. Obviously, if you've seen on, um, like, I feel like a lot of people go at, like, um, Christmas and you see on TikTok yeah, and stuff, don't you, and, like, YouTube. Yeah. Um, what are you going to get to drink? Something decaf. She's on this decaf vibe. When she gets on the route, it becomes her personality. No. This morning, no. <laughs> You've always noted me, and she's like... Having a coffee? Yeah, decaf. decaf. And she just does this. I brought a decaf Starbucks. It was the... Ba Starbucks. <laughs> and not Starbucks, Sainsbury's coffee. You might be sick. First, it was the bangs. That was the first one, and, and now it it's the decaf. Back, okay. Yeah, and then it's it goes back you fine know, though. It goes back perfectly. The only problem I've had is when it's in a ponytail, I get one. Do you flick get a horn? This big, really? Just like flicks it, but it doesn't flick out. It flicks back. How do you sort that? I haven't. You, I've just you let it be. Yeah. Like okay. I think the worst that's going to happen is hairspray. Yeah. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> so you're, you're going to overheat. But I think you just are. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit darker. Um, 
What was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know what to get. I don't know if to get a matcha or a coffee. Yeah, I wish they did decaf matcha and heartbreak. Yeah, but is I there much cafe caffeine in it? Probably not, but it's just the point. Like, was Leon's decaf? No, but I'd have that. I'd, it was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I would have that any time. I can't. You didn't so care. good. Yeah, but did you feel, you know, like crazy after No, but it? I just don't like the fact of having to rely on it, you know? No, but I feel in like In the morning you when you're like, I must have a coffee as I can't function. I don't want that. I feel like you've detached yourself from that, though. I don't think you'd anything had happened to you if you no. had something with caffeine in now. Because even, because even, um, doesn't chai have it in too? Um, no. No. What because does? Because I asked for a, I don't know, but I asked for a decaf matcha, and they said we can't. It's in the powder, and I was like, right. And I said, oh, what about a decaf chai? And he's like, it's already decaf. And oh, I was like, oh, right. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Are, have you looked on TikTok for like decaf Starbucks drinks? No. I haven't really been, because I've just had the chai. That's your next. My next step. That's movement. your next step. Um, coffee or matcha? Coffee or matcha? I don't know. It's being prepared to be pregnant, lady. Is that what you're doing? Well, it's true. Don't make rumours. Yeah, no rumours. <laughs> but like Brittany Deville is that I normally have five coffees a day and she's like, I can't have tea. Five? I can't have coffee anymore because she's so pregnant. Well, you can just have one, can't one. you? It's like a certain level of. I think like if. You can have but, so many MGs. Yeah, but I feel like what yeah. I would do if I, if I didn't. Because I feel like you can't really tell the difference. I don't think we really. I think we just associate it with it's like a pick me up. It's true because I had a decaf this morning and I feel normal i don't i don't personally think the only thing i feel like gives me energy is like if i had a red bull or like a monster, a monster. that's the only thing i would say but like a coffee yeah. doesn't really give me energy no, or feel... unless you're having like an espresso and you're literally knocking the coffee yeah, who the fuck does that? that do you know what i mean get a life but that's the only i feel like so, it's just a personality trait coffee isn't it let's Absolutely. be real so I feel I'm not like, about that anymore. No, I feel like if you if it makes you anxious, I understand. Like some people Which get, get shaky. Well. Some if she's had two or three, what she got? Do you reckon, I reckon a pumpkin like, spice. I know it. Yeah, hot. I tried to read, read yeah, then. I did then. Have she you ever had a hot one? No. Why don't you have a decaf pumpkin spice? Yeah, I'd be up for that. With chai. God. Is that what you had when we were together? Oh, I thought she was no, videoing he's... herself then. She's not. Didn't know if she was a content Oh, no, it's girl. just a... It's just... Map. Just a map. Um, yeah, what did you have when we were together? And I said I didn't mind it. I can't remember. I remember, and I was like... Mm. What were we wearing? You were wearing... You were sat down. Where were we? Starbucks West Midlands Outlook. Oh, I had a matcha with chai. Oh, it was matcha, matcha with, with chai. chai. Yeah, that was good what though. She's shaking. Is it rubbish? Is that what she's shaking? Is it leaving that on the floor? No, but, but she she went halfway. She might as well just picked it up. At least put it back in the trolley or something. You know. It's a lovely car. It's a lovely Range Rover. Let me show you. Well, you are going to overheat now, right? We're going to make our decision, and we'll see you inside because it's getting silly now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's got a husband. Oh, they stopped up at the food warehouse. Yeah, parked all the way over here. Oh, that's really getting into the two packs of Lotus Biscoff. It's and giving her address as owner. Mm. Why do they do that? Why it's do they always they... Cho choose Biscoff? I don't know. I bet people who don't like it, they never offer me know. a custard cream. I think it's just like a Christmas. Not a Christmas, just to go to, isn't it? It is, yeah. He, well, he's a Biscoff. Mm. No, man. Love. We used to have him at the restaurant. Oh, typical. at van guys i'm just following down and it's like a van maze hello, hello good hello good evening it is 10 to 5 we've been to see the van and the van was nice but we're not sure on the part x offer oh, someone's got my card get out. i've seen two isn't it weird like i never really saw that's the a colour. soft top one that one i've never really saw the colour Sorry, I'm just making sure you don't fall. I think I've slotted you there quite well. Um, I think I'm... 
so we're not really sure so um we're just on our way back anyway we got there for about three and it's now five so we were there a little while they weren't really very fast um so we're just going to boots because i want some hair rollers but i thought i would show you we went to the services on the way back and i thought i'd show you look what we found in the services <laughs> we've got daniel you you are on the nut the you on the nice list Yay, go Dan. and then the other one the best one the best one because it's so true hang on This one says, Merry Christmas, Mia, the dancing queen. Hey, dancing queen. <laughs> and we just loved them so much and we just wanted them basically. So we got them and they were only 3 dollars Was it? 3 dollars each. So, and they're little Christmas decorations that we'll keep forever. So, but I feel like we're gonna have every year, like when we have children, we're gonna have to come back to that service and see if we can find their names. Do you still have them decorations from 2023? <laughs> out the back, um, so yeah, I just thought I would update you. Um, Dan's gonna go for a run with the doggies and I'm gonna go to Zumba. And then what's for tea tonight, boss? Jack and potato, darling. With? Some chicken nuggets. And salad. You had salad for lunch, didn't you? I don't mind having it again. And salad. Or veg, whatever you wanna do, it's your choice. I did buy, um, well, it's up to you. I did buy corn on the cob, but I don't know if you wanted it with this or with the parma ham meal. So you choose, I don't mind. So yes, that's, I'll let you know if I get any rollers and I'll show you when I get changed for the number. What's your aim for your run today? Tell us, do you have any or is it? My aim for the run yeah. um, will be just get to the top of the hill again. Yeah. Without stopping. Yeah, again. Yeah. And then probably see how, how far we can go without. Basically, just see how far we can go without stopping. Okay. You can update us later on that. Bye bye. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just on the way to Zumbra. We're a bit early because my I, my thing's not for 45 minutes, but I just want to pop into Asda. Um. I need to put petrol in before Zumba, but I'd like to because it will be pitch black and I don't know I'm doing the pitch black. Um, so yes, so I'm just heading to Zumba Moo Moo, but we can have a little sing song. I've got my six pound and we're ready to roll, girlfriends. I've had something in my eye all day. I feel like my eyes look really, really tired. I'm still stressed because I don't know what my outfit is for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm wearing. Um, and Dan and the boys are gone for a run. Hope they'll be okay. It's gonna get darker soon. Um, jo has put like the sunrise and sunset thing on her app, and it says like it's gonna start sun um, sunset. <laughs> the sun is starting to set at nine minutes past six. So we're nine seven ten minutes, which is absolutely oh gosh, this road's so pretty, which is absolutely wild. Stressful. Let's fill up the car. And I want to see if they've got, I need to get some more of my turmeric shot and I'm going to look for some hair rollers, but let's sing. Ragaba, ragaba, baby. In the treetop, he landed in the cradle of love. You can get what you want or you can just get old You're gone Slow down, you're doing fine You're a lucky just a waitress in a cocktail bar Now I've been around, around. you've got the well on your feet Don't, don't you want me to Put off your red shoes and dance the blues I'm the first in line to get a chance on me. Oh, tell girl, I've been in love and never told her why. 
Look like an angel. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, just pulled into as the Rooney. Let's go. Look how cute. Oh my god, let's snuggle. This is so cute. Let's fill her up ready for our journey together, guys. We'll do a little drive with me tomorrow on the way as well. What playlist? I don't know. It's cold. because I can get my TikTok ready and stuff like that. focus so I'm praying it is um it was focused for you but I'm a fat sweaty mess I really did not want to swear <laughs> don't silly because my hair is so fresh I can't even take the bottle I have to wait um but at least we did a good workout it was really difficult today um I am getting peckish now and we got jug potato for din dins and I cannot wait. Dan usually sends me a picture on of the boys on the run so I haven't had one today so maybe they didn't stop. Usually when they're at the top of the hill I get a cute little picture of my angels but I didn't get one which is sad. Um, but I can't believe how dark it is. It's chilly. It's I don't know how cold it is. It does say somewhere, but I'm not. Oh, I think it says 10 degrees, but I feel like that's a lie. I feel like it feels colder than 10 degrees. 
I feel like that's telling porkies. But I need to go back. I'm going to shower. I'm going to tan. Um, and then I'm going to try and pick an outfit for tomorrow. Um, because we've got a busy day ahead. And I'm nervous. Um, so, yes. And then we've got the psychic Thursday. Oh, it's good. I wonder what they'll say. Honestly, I've had nothing but such accurate reviews on psychics, and like this one's a big word of mouth. So, <coughs> oh bless me. Um, so I'm a bit nervous to be honest about it. But yeah, I don't have too much else to say. But I'm going to drive home, and I will catch up with you um, either at dinner or when I'm tanning or tomorrow or something. So. Good morning. I've just got on the M6 toll and we're on the way. We're 52 minutes away and I'm going to get there at half nine. So, yes, I'm really sleepy this morning. I'm feeling really tired. Um, I've just dropped my na dogs, off, the dogs off at my nan's and off we go, hey. I've got this like add no I've just got a grey Adenola top on, a cream French coat, blue white fox jeans, and then um, uggies, my mustard seed ones. I did roll my hair, um, but I'm just leaving it. I don't know what it looks like. I'm just, just chucking it to the back of my head, and I'm just hoping it's going to look okay. Um, so, yes, I bought some chewing gum yesterday. I'm hungry. I haven't had a coffee or anything. I had a turmeric tea, my greens, and a yakko. I didn't have my shot. I just do fancy, so I'll have it later. Um, so, yeah. That is the vibe. I'm on the toll for 18 miles. I've got my card here. I feel a little, like scared in my little Fifi, but it's okay. For like a vulnerable little egg, I drive him. Right, I'm gonna put some music on, and then we'll catch up in a bit. One more Do you know what makes me like literally baffled that they don't accept apple pie in on the top? Hey, just like that, babes. Thanks. See you later, Tal. See you tonight. Like like you know you know you know I just hate now. You should know you're something different because I brought you to my house. From the neck down, I just came and go. They said that the world was built for two. They said that the world was built for two. He owes me in his big arms, drunk, and I am seeing stars when you said you needed space. What? With some indie record that's much cooler than mine. I'm two minutes away. I'm just coming off the motorway. I was on a motorway. I've never been frogged on the M69, if anyone's ever heard of that. I was on the M1, M69. Got it crazy. I feel like I've really been well travelled today. Fifi's done me well, so I'm grateful for that. We've been safe, and that's all that matters. 
Frost Park, babes. Two minutes away. Oh, it's so bright. I wonder what Frost Park's gonna be like. Let me know if any of you guys live local to um, Frost Park or anything. Frost Park, third exit in the round. Park. Oh, I was in the right lane all along. I don't know how you park for it. Boss. Um, third exit. Oh, I can see the sign. Come in the right one. Park North and Frost Park South. I don't know if I'm going to North or South. How do you know? I feel like oh, I want to go to this one. Oh shit. I think I've gone in the wrong one. Was that Frost Park North? I don't know how to get there. I'm hoping we can get this way. I'm up, but I'm on the other side. I don't know if I can drive. I hate going to new places like this. Okay. I know I'm in the wrong place, but at least I'm here. I think I'm just going to park outside Flannels. I'm going to park and then I'm going to message Georgie and just say I don't have a fucking clue where I am can you come and find me or can I can you tell me how to come to you so I will speak to you guys in a bit oh, I'm dying for me I know that okay I just called her and she's coming over to me because Dunkin Donuts is right outside there you go this is what we're looking like I'm dying for a week so I will let you know when she's here and what coffee we get Hello guys, just a quick proper introduction. Georgie is just setting a camera and she can say hello to you. We've had, we're on our fourth coffee and I'm really sick. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm feeling sorry. overwhelmed now. Um, we just had the sugar cane one. We had vanilla first, French vanilla, that was good. Delightful. And we got it for literally two pound. And then, no, one pound. Well, how much was it? this again um <laughs> we got like four pound off yeah but the sugar cane's really nice the macchiato Caram isn't giving it's giving it's caramel giving coconut bounty yeah caramel coconut and that's not really a bit of either of us luckily so we're gonna get a little picky but i just thought i'd introduce georgie to the vlog we've just been sat chatting for i don't really know how long I quite a while. Don't know. and thank it's god it's free parking <sighs> no limit here Oh, the hair's going to be an issue. I hope this tripod doesn't blow. <laughs> the hair's going to be oh, an no, issue. We've got to work out how to do the... Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Right. She whacked that whole thing out his star, but she's trying to show me how it works. I need to... Oh, I wonder if my phone would stick to the bin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legend, guys. You need one. If you like content, we stuck this to the um, Duncan window and it was class. I'm scared this wind is going to blow these cameras <gasps> off. Look at this. No way. <laughs> okay, right. I bet it would even stick to the pole, wouldn't it? I reckon so. Oh my god, mate, you've sold me. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Why am I bored? Bring that old bloody giant. 
I don't know which side I like to go on the full stress because there's two of us. That's right. <gasps> oh god! <laughs> Hot in this coffee, isn't it? I'm cold. Right, BRB, guys. We'll catch up with you when we're in Primark. <laughs> no, 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 not my business. <laughs> okay, we were just in Primark, and we're just before we get a basket or committing, we're just mooching. Um, we don't really know the vibes yet. We're no. looking for some hair. I'm hope, I want to see new in beauty, yeah. and I'm not seeing it yet. No, I like that they're starting to do hair and um, what's it, heelless curlers and things yes. like that. Like that's nice. Looking for some hair yeah, rollers. Or is she? She's keeping you up all night. Right. She's that, bad night's sleep. That's like the TikTok shop one. Keeps you up all night. That's horrendous. I've not tried one where I think it's really comfy. Have you? I got the um, Eternal Muse, like the little Is ones. that good? They feel soft. Because the rehab hair one, I haven't tried yet, but I've got yes. it. All hair rollers. And um, it's not in, in, it feels soft. It feels like it'd squish. I mean, I did still wake up with a banging <laughs> Did you? Yeah. It's just not comfortable, broken. is it? It's not natural, is it? I mean, uh, shall I wait till we got a basket, do you reckon? Before I stop having these around? Yeah, probably. We'll just know yeah, we, can, we can scoot round afterwards and pick up the bits we okay. We want in a little haul if we can. <sighs> Don't. <gasps> I love the Grinch. <laughs> That's coming for a little Christmas <laughs> Christmas sleepover Don't. thing. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> the Grinch. Yes. The Grinch. That is so cute, isn't it? <gasps> oh, oh Cindy Lou. Get myself ready for Christmas morning. Don't. Adorable. Yeah. I'm I'm not, so they have no, the like Grinch that. heatless curler. That's cute though, because look, it's got little bows. That's so on. cute. That's actually adorable. Imagine us in the sleepover doing our heatless curls. She's still giving bad night's sleep. <laughs> she, she's really giving bad night's sleep. How cute this is, though. These rings are cute, guys. We're looking for some little in oh, Are you sure there's not? Oh, they've got the letters on the top, which makes my life a lot easier. Well, they've got a G in gold, but I'm a silver girl, but I might just I know, I'm get a, the... I'm, are you a silver girl? Yeah, but I might just get the gold. Gold meets silver? Yeah, I'm, I don't mind a little mixed metal. You don't? don't mind it. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd rather not, but... <laughs> it's OK, I can. Or, I could get the C for, like, my surname, but it's yeah. enough. From far away. She looks like a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, it does a bit. Oh, I'll chuck them both in. They're cute. We're just looking I at the jewellery. Zara, and yeah, my mum put it in. To be fair, I did leave it out. I forgot. Ooh, right. What's this same G for? That's cute. What is it? Is it a necklace? Oh, I feel like that would break. She's lasting you two seconds. <laughs> yeah, literally, she's going straight in the bin. Um, that would be a good earring to do that. No. When I used, when I was in lockdown, I was obsessed with them, and the glue's quite good, isn't it? It is not Look, too bad. Look, she's giving um. Bum bum cream. Yeah, that's the one. It doesn't smell like bundle. It's giving holiday vibes. I think I, the, the, tub, the tub made me think it was going to be bum bum. If that was a nice, um, what even is bum bum? How would you describe it? It's like, I'd say like caramelly, like 
sweet coconut tea. Not, not coconut, it's warm holiday vibes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, these are cute. Look at these little eye patches. You've got caffeine eye patches. £1.80 for 15. Oh my god, I feel like we might have to get the caffeine ones. For 15 treatments. I'm not going to do the maths, but. That's well good. And they're being cute for a little eye smart ticket. We're just yeah. at the slipper section. Um, look how cute the what? <laughs> look how cute these. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. <laughs> look how cute these little burgers dot dupes are. And also look at all the Christmas slippers. These are just our bag's really building up. Yeah, it's not okay. Look at our baskets. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not good. <laughs> it's not okay. Look at the little. Oh, don't. Well, there's so many cute pajama sets. I really want look at these Marie guys. They are so cute. I love Marie. The Aristocats just gives me all the vibes. Do you like the Aristocats? Have you never watched? I don't think I've ever seen it. Really? Oh, look at that. I love. Oh, I didn't realise these were like different material. They're so. That's nice. I hope they still have them in winter though. Do you think they will? I think so. They should. These. Yeah. Look at the Grinch ones. Oh, cute. <gasps> and these look. Oh, they're little Mickey and Minnie. Oh, stop it. Oh, the Christmas makes me want to cry. I can't believe it's nearly Christmas, can okay. you? I saw something the other day, how many weeks of Christmas, but I'm it's not ready ten, for that. It's ten Mondays. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee's already doing business stuff, we don't need, we don't we don't need, need any more excitement. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sick, we're just getting into the Primark. Are we getting into Primark edit? No. Gym bit. I don't know. Oh yeah, gym. Um, I don't know what we're going into. It's a cute pink coat. Okay, so yeah, but I'm not sure why she's in the gym section. No, I'm not. Unless we're wearing her on the way to the class. Yeah, you know? on the way to the gym class. I suppose it's cold at six And then we're whipping it off after. I'm like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm watching tennis. Literally. Oh, oh there they are. I don't know. What Legit, everyone goes mad for. What is that material? Oh, yeah. I've never felt them, have you? They're quite nice, or not? Yeah. But it's just a bit, I mean, I was going to say it's a bit cold, but you're wearing shorts right now. <laughs> this I don't like, though. Feel that. It just feels funny. But it looks like fake leathery. Is it, do you think it's meant to? Don't know, don't know. That's like. what it looks like. Belongs in the bin. Look at this, guys, we're in the Christmas section. It's making me it's feel so nervous. I'm, I'm smelling, smelling yeah, I can smell it. And I'm enjoying. I've got some fa la 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 Look. Oh my God, look at the little stuff. He's on his little sleigh. 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 <laughs> oh, guys, it makes me emotional. I can't believe it's Christmas. I'm sick. There's so much. Oh, look at the little pony there. What? Oh, look, no, look, look at his friend who's sitting down. Oh, you could have them both together. Oh. That's, I love the little trees. Stop it. Such it's a good so price cute. as well, isn't it? Yes! It is. Look at this little jacket. I feel like oversized, it could look, look really cool. Yeah. We've got some fleeces. Look at this fluffy coat, guys. Look at this little Paris jumper. I feel like if you go into Paris in winter, yeah, this would be a sleigh, wouldn't it? And this is so soft. We're looking at the scrubs. What does it say it is? It's like, oh, it's giving Christmas. I wouldn't want to drink it, say that. Oh no. But the, that's Christmas. It. I think oh, I just put my lipstick on that by accident. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, this one here called Santa. Let me bring it around. Sweet candy cane. That's cute. Minty? Ooh, no. Oh. oh. What does that smell like to you? No, um, like cherry bakeware? Yeah, it's got. A right? Like marzipan vibes, a little bit. Yeah, that's giving marzipan. Why is that? That's not um, candy cane. Candy no. cane's sweet. We know what candy cane tastes like. We know. Like oh, oh, I've just been <laughs> recording without even realising. Found. Here you go, both vlogs. <laughs> Santa. I'm intrigued. What does Santa smell like to you? I can't wait for I'm not feeling much. No. <laughs> I'm struggling for description. I'm not thinking, oh, Santa, I have a crush on you. Can you smell yeah. like Dior Savage? Christmas tree. I'm not sure I'm going to like that. I don't normally like them. It does smell a bit like Christmas tree. It smells weird. Oh, that's, that's short. Oh my god, look at this one. Fur, fur pine and spy. That smells Christmassy. Where's this Is it a nice one? It just smells festive. It's like, I wouldn't... Feliz want... Navidad. A, a bit, yeah. Fala la la. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> fala. <laughs> give him fala la la. Every time I see fala la la, I'm going to think of you. <laughs> Look at all these Christmas mugs. Georgie's waffling on about this. Um... <laughs> oh, got... mug. Isn't Chili's meant to be a good brand? Yeah, it's, meant... it's like the original. Will you show me what's inside there? Absolutely, my darling. What do you reckon it is? 
Oh, I know what it is. Oh, you know? I read the back. Wow. Is it ugly? Uh, I just, Am I going to read it? I'm not sure you're going to read it. <laughs> The colour's cute. What's going in it though? Hot drinks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chilies. <laughs> well, technically. What's let me go open it up and see if it's. I mean, that's not helping me. Oh, what do you do with that? It's a food pot. Food pot? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to eat it. Who gives a fuck about you're a food pot? Oh, imagine if we found a cute colour in them. They're like that, the Starbucks yeah. ones. A cream one of that would do me just fine. Do this. That's an arm work. That's what I'd want. How many is it? Say. I'm feeling dehydrated from the lack of water today. I can't yeah, I've got my Stanley in the car, but we need to get some water when we um, eat as well. But I it's saw not... a, um, a white woman down the other day. Did you? Yeah. Where? <laughs> I wish there were stainless steel inside though. Are they not? Do you not? No, they're just like normal, like, is it plastic? Gooey! We are done. Woohoo! We're done shopping we've and done a lot. we're tired. It's only quarter to three, but it's been I a feel long. Like we've when, you know when we were shopping and you were like, it's only twelve o'clock. I thought, <sighs> yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. But we've been here like five hours. Yeah, true. It's because we got mm. here early, isn't yeah. it? Like we started off early, and it's been. Gosh, that was a very aesthetic. Did even cut my nose out? Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> we really had, <laughs> really had it. We got so many pickies today. Look at um, Instagram. Yes, they were so cute. We did, really did well for the content. I'm proud. Yeah, we've some, got a lot today. We were saying like sometimes when you meet people, it's scary. Um, yeah. Got the engine because it's we're, we're not claustrophobic. What's the word? Um. Um. What's the word? Not bad. Is that the, the, what is the word? Condensation. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, let's try the phone charger. See, oh, I did. Yeah. I got a pink phone charger, and they were all quite expensive, weren't they? Yeah. But that's I found a cute find. pink one. Um, yeah, we're gonna airdrop our pickies together. I'm not ignoring. I'm just, you know. And we are going to reunite next week, we believe, for a fun day, and I'm excited. So, yes, it was. I hope you've enjoyed having Georgie on the channel. I've loved being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we just got some content in our white fox little thingies because we're white fox stands, aren't we? We are. Can't help ourselves. No, it's just the best loan. It's buttery. I'm excited. Like, oh, I'm, no. I'm oh, not no, looking coming. forward to the journey home, but I'm, looking for, I'm at least I'm comfy. I'm like, yeah, I just wish I wasn't in jeans. I feel like stripping off. Like the temptation mm. to put them fucking soft things from Primark Ooh. on. Could do. I know, but I don't want to ruin it. Like, yeah. I feel naughty trying things on before I've tried on the Me whole. Me too. Leave yeah. the labels on for I feel it, like yeah. I'm like being Cheating. a snake to the girls. Yeah, I don't like taking packaging off things. No, before. I like. Oh no, I got a new Stanley cup the other day. Josh was like, "Are you not going to use it?" I was like, "I'm not going to take it yet." Yeah. Have yeah. I, I unboxed it? I need to wash it up I've, before I can use it. Yeah. It's got a label on it, so. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I get scared to even like touch things. Really? Uh, yeah, like you know, like if it's got nice packaging, I'm like, oh, I need to yeah. save that for the vlog. Oh, I tried on the Matilda Jeff um, pajama tubes. Good. They are. They fit so nice. Oh, I haven't told you. What? Right, there I go. Right, guys. Say bye to this Georgie stands. and I will speak to you soon. You'll probably see her next week. Peace You'll love. see me in like five minutes. So I don't know why I'm kissing you goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Georgie. <laughs> hey, besties. Just driving to get back towards the top. He's right on my ass. Go away. Okay, I had a really nice day. Ah. One second, let me just merge you, merge you. Okay, we're on the M6. I think, I don't really know where we are. I don't know, but we're driving and we've had a really nice day. It was really lovely to meet Georgie. I feel like to say yes to more things this year and like put myself especially now I'm in a position where I'm not meeting people while I'm at like work like I really wanted to make sure sorry I was really focusing then um I really um wanted to like push myself to make sure I was meeting people like making the effort like just like pushing myself out of my comfort zone and like meeting new people is something that I wasn't I thought how will you know if you're like 
friends with somebody or like you're gonna get on with someone if you never speak or like you're never gonna meet new people so that was one of my aims this year and I'm so happy I did she was lovely really nice it's nice to have someone in the same job as you who like is re relates to you and things like that so really enjoyed my day got some bits from Primark I'm gonna see if it's enough for a haul um, and then I just got a phone charger nothing too exciting like there wasn't a Zara and there's a Zara basic I really want um, but I'm possibly going into London next week um, for an event so that will be fun and I just need to sort next week's videos out Ugh, I'm really tired but I just thought I'd check in and say can we driving home got 38 minutes left get home for five just before five to four and cheers to that it's a rainy day but we still managed to get some content which is good and i'm feeling good i'm just uncomfortable in my jeans i want to get them off and like i've got these such comfortable stuff from primark in my bag i'm dying to get it out i put it in the boot but I'm mean, like a trust today of all day. My eyebrows never go flaky, right? I never have any issues today. I've got flakes all over my face. I bet Georgie thought, what the fuck's wrong with that girl's makeup? Not a vibe. Not a vibe at all. But that's all from me. So I'll speak to you later when I get in. cold I'm sure of it it's lukewarm I made it honestly over half an hour ago I had a bath shower took my makeup off put my pajamas on and then I've just changed the bed done my skincare and now I'm gonna do the dishwasher it's all rainy and cozy I've got the candles on and then I'm just gonna get the kitchen ready to make dinner in a bit but this is cold not giving the vibes I think I might get another one out have we got another yes I'm gonna reboil the kettle and make another tea to be honest because that is gross um but yes honestly oh, I'm happy and chilled and tired and um, I was just voice noting Georgie and I was testing out my thingy today the sticky thing for the camera and my phone and it's really good So I really recommend if you want the link of Amazon if you actually create content or anything I really recommend um, but yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm gonna try to do the kitchen Nothing exciting. Excuse me. Nothing exciting and then I'm gonna make dinner just before dad gets back. So Love you. Okay, I'm just gonna make din din. Sorry about the light let me see if the flash will help a little bit um and i thought i'd show you what i've got so I've, we cut up our chicken and put it in this oh no oh, no it's fine it wasn't oh no he didn't air tight it oh no it's, it's fine you can still take it off whatever we cut up our chicken and put it in here um and i'm gonna put slice it open put philadelphia in and then i've got these potato Pardon. Potatoes with garlic butter. And then I'm gonna wrap the chicken with parma ham, and then I've got some corn on the cob and salad. So that's dinner tonight. So I'm gonna start that so Dan isn't starving when he gets in. So I'll sh I haven't got much battery, but I'll show you um, bits and bobs. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> what am I on about? Good morning. Happy Thursday. Are we all okay? It is 20 past nine, I'm up, I'm ready, I woke up about, I put my alarm on for, what time? I put my alarm on for like seven, 7, 4, 7 50, but I got up at half seven, so that was nice. I did wake up when Dan went to work, but I was like, no, I was like, Mia, go back to sleep, like I was trying to ignore that I needed a wee. Um, but we're up already, my nan's dropped Bella off, just left them and now I'm off to my psychic appointment. I'm fucking nervous, I'm really scared. Um, but it'll be okay. It's just nerve wracking what they're gonna say, you know? Um, so yes. But I'm just on the way to my nan's because 
obviously we've got a back-to-back -back appointment so we're gonna go together but I just thought I'd check in and say good morning I'm a bit stressed about tomorrow's video because it's got a brand in and I don't know what like it, they, we haven't had any approval or amends or anything yet and it's tomorrow's video so I'm a bit stressed about what's gonna go up tomorrow because like it's all filmed and edited uploaded it's just like if they don't approve it I can't upload it so yes so I'm gonna if not I'm gonna try and sort I've got a big boohoo order to film for you guys but I'm a bit stressed because like I uploaded a POT haul on Wednesday and like is that just like do you want a boohoo haul and then a POT haul do you know what I mean like is that a bit much I don't know whether that's like what the content that you want like two hauls like I know you like vlogs but I don't want to miss an upload either. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do at all. So, yes. Part of me was like, do I do a spend the day with me today and upload it for tomorrow? But like, I'm not really doing anything. And like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll try and think about it. Um, but then I am making a pie tonight. So do I do like a cozy evening routine? That's just popped into my head. I could do that, couldn't I? That means like, I why do people just stop in the middle of the road? Is what I want to know. I used a different Who Is Elijah perfume this morning, and um, God, it was stunning. I, like, I think it was called Nomad. Yeah, Nomad, and oh, gorgeous. Honestly, them them perfumes, I'm telling you, are a slay like so nice my favorite rebel rose wall street nomads are very close and then there's one more there's one more i've got my nail on the way into the car and it's like about four um so yes i'm just waffling to venice but i just want to tell everyone in because i'm nervous my mom loves loves stuff like this like she like we cut like her and my nan we say they're witches because they've just got witchy senses and they say i'm like a baby witch like i have just sometimes i just have a little something so and like a spirit like i swear to god a few of our houses have been haunted um and like i don't know like my mom she's very in touch with that sort of like like she loves spirits and things like that and like she's not like really hippie or anything like you wouldn't think about it but then sometimes like well she's just intrigued by it and like she would go and do a 13 and a half hour shift be out from fucking half six till nine o'clock at night at bloody a and &E, and I'd be there terrified at home <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna get eaten by a ghost <laughs> I'd be crying at home so yeah um, but I, like now I've got older I'm really intrigued by because it, it just baffles me how accurate it can be like how do they fucking know that like how like uh, how how do you know that how do you know that how do you know that someone's gonna fall pregnant how do you know that someone's granddad you've described them you've literally like described their what they did like how do you know that go on say <laughs> just tell me how are you just born with it? Do you have to learn this gift? I don't know. But they're absolutely crazy. And it's so interesting. So, yeah. I'm really excited and nervous. It's the future bit, I think. Like, I'm not as... And, like, it, what also so baffles me is, like, when they say, like, you know, you, you... I don't know, say, like, when my granddads came through, they were like, you know, tell them, tell her this, and, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, ha, can you see me? Can you see me? Hello. Do you know what I mean? Like, where are they? Like, I know, like, a little feather might appear and a robin. That's fine. Where are they? I can't... I need physical evidence here. That's my biggest thing. Like, like you know when you want to believe in something? And I do believe it because, like, I feel like I've been proved that it's right. But where? Like, where is the physical evidence? Can you show me? You can't. But I want to know. Like, when they say, like, they're looking down on you, where are they in this tree? Do they look through the bedroom window? Like, how can a spirit see it? Oh, I do not understand it. Like, it just baffles my brain. So, yeah, that's my morning confusion. I'm nervous. Let's take some free deep breaths. If you haven't took any deep breaths now, let's do them together. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go.
just feels different when you've took a deep breath. Because, like, it's mad. Like, when I listen to, like, my... I don't know what gear I'm in. Let's go to bed. Um, <laughs> when I listen to my manifestations and stuff, um, they're, like, like, they, like, take deep breaths. And, like, when you realise, like, you don't really do deep breaths in the day. Like, that's the first time you've took an actual proper breath. Because, like, that is what breathing is. And, like, when you do a deep breath, I used to, like, suck my stomach in. But when I, as I've been learning about um, just like doing meditations and things like that, when you breathe in, it's so sorry if you know this, but I didn't know it, so I'm surely there's other people that don't too, and I want to help you. That when you breathe in, you push your belly out. It's like you like puff it out, and that's the air going into your tummy, up for the chest, out for the mouth, like a wave. This is what it's it's meant to be like. And I didn't know that because when I normally breathe in, but actually breathing in through not using your like lungs properly. So there's a little tip from you. There's me thinking I've had nothing to say this morning. Look at that. <laughs> breathing tips with MWD. Um. So yeah, that is. Um, that's the story in Ballamore, to be honest with you. Um, I had a dream about myself on the motorway last night. I think it's because I was just like, you know, toddling around and in the theatre yesterday. I, I dreamt about myself and the theatre and I don't know. I don't know what I'll have. I've had some really weird dreams recently, honestly. Oh, that was a bad part. I hope my time's okay. <laughs> um, this, everything sounds so like, mm, in the theatre. Um, what did I have to dream about the other night? I don't know. I don't know, I can't remember. If it comes back to me, I'll tell you. But I've been having them, but then, like, sometimes, like, I can't remember them in the morning, I remember them in the night, but then all of a sudden, I, like, someone says something, I'm like, ah, my dream! Do you know what I mean? Um, yes. My tie seems okay. Ooh! It's not veering or anything. We're okay. Bloody hell, that pot was a right little biatch. <laughs> Let's go. I'm nervous. Um, the hair just wasn't cooperating this morning. Like I had no time to style it, did style it, style it. Didn't know what to do with it, so I just shoved it back in a clip. But to be honest with you, it looks a bit icky. I'm gonna. I think I might just take it down. But you know, in like, I don't have bangs or anything, but you know, like just the front of your hair, just like, it's sitting a little bit weird. Or don't, sometimes I really forget what gear I'm in. Do you know what I mean? I can't tell from looking at it. Right, I'm trying absolute shit this morning. I know I am. I've also booked in to have a change in my hair. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, in November in like a month. So, I'm having a change and I'm nervous. I feel like, I like this, but I don't feel 100% me with this hair. And I think I will with this. Um, so I'm having a bit of a change. I don't want to build up too much, not going like green or anything, you know, I don't get too excited. But yes, yeah, so I'm excited. I don't know what day it is next month though. Um, I have to look because I never remember. I just say message me a few days before and just remind me, you know, I don't know. Um, but I'm bored of my own voice now, so I will speak to you after the psychic and let you know. Whoa, I'm nervous, I'll tell you about me and my nan's um, thingy. And I wonder if I don't have anything to play a CD on, else so I would play it back to you. I mean, you don't want a whole hour of the spirit talking to me, do you? Do you know what I mean? Just in case they say, like, no, I don't want to reveal too much, but um, I will try and remember as much as I can in the hour and I will get back to you. Hello everybody, a proper catch up. Um, the psychic was really interesting. Um, so really recommend, obviously I can't say a lot, it was very personal, very much to do with my family, future, um, so accurate, like about my like granddads that have both died, like Dan's nan came through. Obviously can't tell you too much as it's really personal to me and family and stuff like that. But there were some very interesting things in there, very accurate things in there. So yes, I just wanted to, actually I better go this way. 
Um, it was really interesting, really accurate, very interesting and I recommend everybody to go honestly whether you believe it in believe in it or not because the facts that they know and the energy you give off is so correct like you know you don't get on with blah blah you like okay so stuff I can tell you like they were like she was like your partner's a manual labor isn't she and I was like yeah she's like I'm getting electrician plumbing blah 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 she's like he works so hard like he's gonna be really successful like she was saying like how many children she saw in our future um stuff about like very accurate details about like my granddads that aren't here um like, like described how close me mum and my nan were like they were like she was like i'm seeing free women like that's what your um dad's mum uh, your mum's mum's telling me and like mum's dad's telling me and stuff like that like it was just so it it was comforting interesting i love that she gave me a cd to listen to it back i'm stuck behind a tractor in the middle of the midlands how is pardon just go around you're not in a lamborghini honestly sorry um so yeah like, it was really good i really found it interesting really good like things like just comforting interesting positive things some things not so positive and that's okay but very accurate very interesting and i feel like that's all i can say unfortunately i'm sorry if that's a bit like blah but i'm just being honest like i say i can't really share too much personal like and if it was me you know what i'm like i would share all sorts um but for other people's privacy i'm not going to but she, that was a stone she was like you're not um she was like i'm seeing like something in the public i'm seeing like tv like i'm seeing like you um i'm seeing you like she said advertise or something and i was like you yeah, know i do social media and she was like oh like yeah she's like you do this really well like she was like you're just gonna grow and grow she was like um like you're so passionate about it but you never switch off and i was like she was like you don't have any working hours and i was like i oh, know and she was like you need to try and start switching off because your sleeping patterns like really a problem and she's just saying like you are like two personalities of like you're like one you'll tell, tell people where to shove it and just think whatever but then you're also really sensitive um and you carry the world like weight of the world on your shoulders and i was like that is so true like one part of me is like fuck off do you know what i mean like why don't speak to me like that like i'll tell you straight and then another part of me is like oh god i'm worried about everything like and like, i don't know it was just really good really really good like like i said i can't tell you too much more because it's very personal to my family and isn't fair for me to put information about them online when they haven't asked for it but yeah it was really cool really interesting and yeah i don't know good my nan also enjoyed it um and I'm, we're gonna well we're possibly gonna listen to her cd later um uh, but i'm just going to pick her up now we're gonna go to home bargains and jysk and I also need some food because it's three o'clock and I've only had a coffee today. I haven't looked after myself today very well. So I'm going to go and get myself something to eat from the co-op. Just anything. I feel quite sick and ill. And just shove some food down my throat because it's going to be dinner time before I know it. And I'm not even going to have eaten. So I need to do that. But I just feel like I've been really like, on the go, like rushy today. So yeah, because we had to, I like man. Like we, we went with Daz and then like my nan stayed in the car with Daz while we went and then that was till 11 and then obviously we didn't go till 12 and then we get back and then I like come back and took the dog straight for a walk um, sorted the dogs out, I've just left them and now I am going back to my nan's um, 
But I hope my nan's having a lovely spa day with her sisters. That's why I've got Bella today. I'm so jealous. She's gone to Horcross Hall, which is um, a spa. I believe it's in the Midlands and it's lovely. So nice. Dan works around that area all the time and like it's stunning. So he was doing that and he, um, and yeah, I, I, Dan was like, we really need to go back and book. Like, we went for Dan's birthday. I don't know how much I vlogged on Dan's. Was it Dan's birthday I took him? I think so, or Christmas. Don't know. But yeah. Um, but she, she said like you might want to learn something new. Like you might want to do something else as well. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what. But yeah, as soon as I came out, my mum's my um, break at work, she was like, I was telling her already because like I said, she fucking loves it. Um, and she got brought up straight away because she just has such a strong energy. Like it's literally wild. So yeah. But it's, yeah, three o'clock, I'm gonna get some food, I'm gonna go pop to home bargain, so I'll let you know if I see you or get anything. I'm looking for, my nan said they might have the, um, I want the suits for the dogs, like, they're like coats where just the paws out, because I'm having to bath them so much, and like, it's just draining, like, I don't wanna be bathing them, like, it can't be good for their coat for me to be bathing them all the time, and like, they're walking every day, and they're just filthy, and I don't leave dirt in the paws, but I don't wanna get the house dirty, and, Oh, it's just inconvenient to be honest with you. So I'm going to um Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. That Tuning to FM. That scared the fucking life out of me. The van was driving like a psychopath. Oof. Why don't why do people do that? It's the need. Um I don't even know what I'm on about. Fucking really crashed into me. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Feel all panicky, so I'm gonna go. And I will speak to you. Oh yeah, about the dogs. Hopefully I can get them them soon. <laughs> that t-shirt. Most wonderful time for <laughs> Imagine, the last drinking person we've ever met. <laughs> Hello, I'm home. Um, I look like a bedraggled rat. But I thought I would just show you what I bought today. You've had your food now, darlings. Um, so from Home Bargains, I bought these suits for the dogs. Um, and they go on their arms, on their legs. They're quite cool, they're reflective. Obviously I wouldn't put the hood up, it'd just be like that. But I would only have, like at least their bits and bobs would be out. And that's the only thing that would get wet other like the tail would be out like I just thought these would be so good they were like six six pounds something like that so I've got two of them got them both in the medium I'm going to try them on at some point also we've just given them raw food I've got these to start having their dinners in um they've got a lot of dog bowls but I thought these would be good for the mat aspect that like I can just wipe this off so I got them this like, nothing has prices on them high bargains and then got this which was the pumpkin spice scented candle. But I just thought that was so cute. Um, haven't smelt it or anything. It just smells very autumnal, like it's just cute. And I loved the little lid. I then got this wicker one, because I just thought this would look cute anywhere. And it just, I don't know, the aesthetic was just everything. And I got... <laughs> this as I'm going to use as my pie dish. How beautiful. So I got this and then I got a new pillow. I only got one because I thought me and Dan could see if we're actually going to sleep with them like swap and change because it felt really nice in the shop and it's like a nice memory foam pillow. And I bought a mattress and a pillow and then I got this big bath. I'm just going to try it now because the, the one we've got just isn't big enough and like our bathroom's so cold because it's the back of the house. There is a towel radiator in there, but... So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and see if this is big enough. The dog harnesses are drying, but this is it. Let me turn the light on. This is what it looks like. And it's so soft and fluffy. Um, and it'll just warm the bathroom up a little bit more. It's that a bit bigger. Woo! Do you like it? Yay! Hello, babies. Hi, Rolly Poly. Woo-woo! It looks like you, Rolly 
they're so soft. Hi, Billy Boo. And like, you can sit in when you're having a wee, be comfy, and then like when you get the strawberry nice and toasty. <laughs> Gorgeous bum. Gorgeous bums. Oh yes, J-Y-S Kyle, just got a V-Sai. Was so good. I wasn't even focusing. It was so, so good. Um, I feel mm, not miserable, it's not the right word. I feel a bit deflated. I think it's the period due. I think I'm doing like two days and I just feel a bit miserable, a bit tired. Just a bit meh. I'm meant to be making a pie tonight. I don't really want to. Um, I'm going to see how long it's going to take. Hello, you. Um, my nan will pick Bella up hopefully about, well not hopefully but she said about six, half six and then I don't know what time Dan will be home, I think he's on the way home and yeah that was my haul from today. I really recommend going into JYS Kane, they gave me an extra 10% off and like my nan got such a good deal for her mattress and yeah, big thumbs up. Good morning, <laughs> look at the state of me. <sighs> I feel period I just feel meh. <laughs> I feel really cold. I haven't put the heating on because I'm just trying to be good, but I'm getting ready. I didn't wake up till cup past eight this morning. I was like, I'm not setting an alarm. Like you don't need you're not rushing tomorrow. Like there's you don't need to go for anything. So didn't set an alarm. Woke up about quarter past eight and now I have my nan wants me to go for a coffee with her. Um, this is Nanny Glennis. <laughs> um, so we're gonna I'm gonna get ready, take her for a coffee, and then I might I've just me and Joe were meant to be getting content, but let me just show you the weather. Can you see that? Look at the state of it. It's giving torrential rain. So we will not be getting any outdoor content. I part of me wants to pop over to Birmingham and get a video film, so I said to Joe if she wants to come and we could get some lunch. If not, and um, I don't really know. I might go if she doesn't want to go. I don't really know the plan. Um, so we will see. But I just wanted to check in and say, good morning. I slept on the, the new pillow last night and it was definitely firmer than I'm used to, but it was nice. Like it, it felt like supported, you know? We didn't watch anything last night. We literally, Dan was stuck on, um, in an accident on the way home. Thank God he was okay. Um, so, picked up bells and then honestly there was nothing else to the evening like I just chilled on the sofa I watched Georgie's vlog um and yeah we had dinner and that was that it wasn't it wasn't that exciting um and then this morning we've I mean by the end of this week Dan should have a new van he's gone to the place today uh, this morning gone to get the car valued um and well it, we already knew a value but they just needed to fill a few forms in because he's found a van that he likes and then he's coming back going to work um so update on the raw dog food we're in a really good routine and they they will fit down like they're really enjoying it and they're like at, like it's like they're like actual dogs um and it, it's quite nice like there's no fussiness with the food like they're hungry like they're having the exact right amount of food and yeah so it's pretty good they're they're giving good well-behaved doggies who are really enjoying their dinner and that makes me so happy and i know the only thing extra i'm giving them because like they're in the middle of the grammage like what grams you're allowed to give them they're like bang in the middle and they are quite active dogs so the only thing if they're hungry still that i'm giving them is some scrambled egg nothing else because that won't hurt them um so good protein and yeah so that is what the dogs are dealing with and they're really really good i need to boil some more green tea to roll those here um and also check on that but that's the vibes Right now, I don't know what I'm going to wear because, like I said, it's torrential rain. Like, there's no niceness, no nice weather. Like, it's just not cute. It is not cute. Um, but, yes, I 
don't know what to wear, don't know what to dress like. I just kind of want to stay in bed, like, you know, and your energy's just zip. Let's see how many days we're away. I usually use my 28 to track. Um, other than that, my notes. I don't have, like, um, the other ones. Because, like, I don't really need to know. Like, I, do you know what I mean? Okay, one day until the period, it's same. And it's saying, well, our emotions. It's the curtain call for this cycle and your hormones are taking their final bow before they say farewell until next time. This can send your emotions into a tizzy and cause you to really in your feels. If you're feeling pretty overwhelmed mentally but you still have enough physical energy, don't skip out on exercising. It'll make you feel a lot better. A review of 1,039 studies, that's a lot of studies, found that exercise is more effective at relieving and reducing symptoms of anxiety and psychological distress than counselling and medication. Sure, your home hormones can take you on a roller coaster right now, but don't underestimate the power of a simple 30-minute simple workout. And then it says, for your body, at this point you may be feeling bloating, experience breast tenderness, which, to be fair, no breast tenderness, and have increased cravings for sugar and carbs. It's important to recognise these changes and take steps to manage them such as eating healthy food exercising regularly and getting adequate sleep your hormones are all over the place which can make you experience a slew of uncomfortable but classic premenstrual symptoms and then it says your romance have a cuddly movie night with your significant other tonight make some popcorn grab some drinks cozy blankets and snuggle up together for a homey night in you're at the end of your cycle and your hormones are on the floor it's only natural that you don't feel that you're most outgoing, romantic or energetic, so being cosy and cuddly can help you feel safe and comfortable. And it says doing things that make you happy today because your hormone level might be a little harder than usual to make you feel upbeat. So that's where we're at. I'm going to take the dogs a big rainy walk tonight. Um, I am going to put their new coats on and they tried them on last night and they look so cute i'm going to put their coats on and then at the end of the day today i'm going to take them a big hour hour and a half walk that's my plan of exercise today and i'm really looking forward to it but they really appreciate it when i've been out of the day going out so i'm going to not take them this morning because they almost like kind of forget by the end of the day but they'll really appreciate it by the end of the day so i'm going to carry on I've got two to vlog on. Like I have different vlogs on every device, like some on my phone, some on the TV, some on the laptop, so I just press play on whichever one unless I don't want to watch it. Um, and I was watching, also talking about periods, and Joe had the um, menstrual cup, and I've never even, I knew they existed, but I never really thought anything into a, me a menstrual cup, so when I see her today, I'll have to um, ask her her experience, because the only thing that made me think, Oh, that might be better is I don't really like sleeping um in pants like it's just like not a vibe for me so I thought hmm then you wouldn't have to sleep with pants on I don't believe with the menstrual cuff because obviously that's it's it's not like a tampon but it's like a big cup right that just catches the flow so I don't really know. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Jode how it works. But if you're a girly, let me know your favourite use of... Um, what's the word? What's the word? Because I, I was going to say contraception. That is not right. What's the word? Mensch... Oh, whatever. It's not even interesting. Um, so yeah, let me know your... Cause I went from tampons to pads just because I found them comfy and heard a lot of bad things about tampons being like with the chemicals and stuff unless you bought like organic ones. The only time I'd ever go to a tampon again is if I was on holiday and I was on my period and you're stuck, you know. Um, and then yeah so that's what i thought oh maybe that would be interesting in that sense that you can use them at night and you can just go to sleep because otherwise i just wear the big comfy period pants you know the if you know you know sorry i'm looking for my makeup brush and i can't find her but my, my room's such a mess i can't even find i suppose i can even find rollo in it um so yeah i will let you know a bit later today what the vibe or the plan is but i'm gonna finish my makeup and i'll see you when i'm choosing not to wear okay guys we're just headed into costa oh it's freezing isn't it there you go that's it.
Do you like little bits? Do I like a mix. I like a mix of like little like mosaics and also pictures, you know. I don't like all the... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All the shading. It's my choice yeah. if I want to call the names. <laughs> Not yours. Yeah, I must have held onto my colour so tight that it made my thumb go numb. <laughs> and I couldn't move my thumb for two really? days. Yeah. Clever, yes. What does that mean? Sometimes referred to as extra, extra search. I, I don't like Sudoku or anything like that, but the word search is I, a form. I don't like a Sudoku, but that's I don't know how to... Oh, I don't like it. Oh, mm, it's it's like boys' tattoos. What's this one at the back? Okay, let's go back. Wondrous I don't know if this one's a bit dark. The more I'm wrong. the more happy. It's just not that happy. I don't care. Oh, oh, this is all animals. What is all animals? What is these ones? I thought we've just had the call. What does that mean? <laughs> Peaceful dreams. Oh, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. Oh, that seems a bit easy. You might get hard. I am good at colouring. Keep going. I don't know if this is a bit. <laughs> Twelve lines. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at this one. Yeah. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> oh, you're that good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm really good. Yeah. We need the poo! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it might wrap it! Don't! Yeah, no. I'm piggy! I'm piggy! Oh, yeah. It's more it's friendly with two, it has to be this one! Silly old bear! <laughs> Sorry, can I just Sorry. go past it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm not going to say you're getting it. Okay, here it is. It's the cup. The cup? Yeah. Is that what you got? Do you think it's worth it? I'm due on tomorrow. Yeah. Do you think I should get one? Hello, guys. So, we're just on a little dog walk. Dan's home. And um, went to Waggers and then went to Works and Holland Barracks. So I'll show you what I got when I get back. But we're just on a little dog walk and I just wanted to show you the dog's new suits. <laughs> they look so cute. We'll we'll be a bit closer. Wow! Good running, Ra! Here they are. They look so cute with their little jumpsuits. Look! Ra's is here. Ra wasn't sure at first, but Rory, good boy! Look at his little bum. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay! They look so cute. Um, so yeah, just wanted to check in and say hey. Um, I'm making a chicken pie for dinner tonight, um, and I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully it turns Have we got out okay. We need, then, yeah. I don't know. I just need to double check. I think so. Um, I think so. I don't know if we need a bit of cream. A bit of cream. Yeah, yeah. it's the only thing. But I'm going to Google and have a look properly. But yeah, thought I'd just check in. Um, see you later. Okay guys, I just thought I'd show you for a bit in the show what I got today. I got this body wash. I got this menstrual cup. I got this face wash. I got this tea. 
and I've got this bone broth. So there's my little haul from today, um, minus the colouring books. Hey, good morning, happy Saturday. I am just on the way to pick up my Nanny Glennis and we're gonna go to Sainsbury's and then we are going, I'm gonna go and pick Dan up because should we take a moment, the BMW's gone. The BMW is gone. Bye Benji, thank you so much for keeping us safe. In the last just under a year, we really love you and we're gonna miss you. Feels like, I don't know, it feels a bit sad. Um, Benji's gone, but Dan's got a beautiful new van and he's so happy and everything worked out well. It's actually cheaper a month, even with the negative equity. So I'm so happy for him. Um, everything's really worked out. So I'm just, it's been such like a hold on both of our heads. Like I was stressed if we couldn't get rid of it, should I have not got the fear? And there's just so many things that I was just like, oh, shit, like have we messed up here? But everything's worked out and I'm so grateful. Let me just, oh, okay, go. Yeah, go. All bit grubby, Kevy. Um, so yeah, I'm so grateful everything's worked out. And yeah, it feels all like, Oh, it's done, it's done. Um, so, car's gone, Dan's got a new van, it's really nice. I went and sat in it this morning in my pajamas when he got back from Utoxter and it was lovely. I'm so happy for him, it looks beautiful, it looks really sporty and yeah, it's just so cool. It Look, looks really, really nice, I'm so happy for him. And yeah, we've got our cars. We've got no big four by four car anymore, but that's okay, that's what we wanted. We will need to save costs, so because obviously Dan can put it for us in a business expense because it is his business vehicle, and obviously this isn't really costing me much at all. So this is your sign, honestly. Like although it seems stressful, I've had so many messages since I've come out and said like I'm going to downgrade my car because I just I want the extra four five hundred pound. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, doesn't make you any less fun, cool, interesting makes you sensible and like I'd much rather have the money in my bank than going on a car that I only go to fucking maybe like Primark in <laughs> you know so yeah the only thing that will be a bit difficult is when we go on long journeys so yeah but that's okay it doesn't matter um we sort that out we'll get a higher car or we we'll squish in Fifi it doesn't matter so they're the thoughts right now like I said I'm going to get my nan and I'm feeling I'm doing my period today. Um, I'm feeling okay. I felt, I felt a little bit emotional. Watched the last episode of Virgin River today, and it, it, it was sad. Like, I felt a bit sad, but the start of November, it's out. So that's one thing. 
to be grateful for that it's back soon like I've held out as long as I could and like this morning was just too good of an opportunity not to watch it um, it just fit, fit you know I just had the perfect slot this morning I woke up about I woke up when Dan got up I have no idea what time that was but I got up personally I fell back asleep and got up about 8 I think about 8 o'clock so sorry I'm just working out what's going on the roads are so fucking flooded it's wild so flooded um, I'm not going to go which is a shame because I wanted to go the quicker way but we're not risking Fifi me and Dan drove through this like massive puddle yesterday and it was so bad like honestly the rain was horrendous um, it was like the car was just the car struggled <laughs> struggled in the in the uh, in this flood I went into my own world then I could tell I'm sorry I was staring into abyss I was staring at um, I was staring at the traffic lights and I just you know when your vision goes a bit like glazed I was in me as well sorry um, but yeah good morning it is 20 past 28 minutes past 10 not sure on today's plans um, oh, I've got Bella tonight. I need to ring my nan and see what time I've got Bella. I look like a, I've got all like very fluffy. I've woke up with, I haven't really started my hair this week, so it's giving natural, and my hair is very naturally wavy. Um, so yeah, it's giving natural waves, which I'm just gonna let it, it's not greasy at all, it's so soft still, like from when I washed it, but I'm not gonna, um, I'm just gonna let it go greasy because I think I have an event in London tomorrow not tomorrow on Tuesday um, so I'd like it slick back for then because I just like when I am in London I like really to have my hair up if I can help it just because um, it's out my face and oh, pothole, and just out my way you know so I'm gonna do a little sing song and then let's go pick up Glennis I'll, I'll be, be riding, riding shotgun underneath the hot sun turn on my and I can't believe they wanna see me lose that bad. No, no, what a song. Take my number down to 079. I wanna see your body in that taxi. Come over, girl, I'll put you in a taxi. Let's just change this music immediately because Glennis will hate this music. She will not like it. Kiwi! Are you okay? Yeah. You look nice in your little man. Do I? Yeah. Oh, crikey. It's loud, sorry, I'm just going to turn that down. Right, guys, so, while I've got Glennis in the car, I'm going to tell her about the camera because she's lonely. Shout. She's screaming, shout. Let it all out. <laughs> no. I was going to say, as someone, I'm going to, obviously nothing personal to say, but I was going to say, um, what did you think of your psychic experience? Obviously, you don't have to say anything personal, but what did you think about it? Did you think it was Very accurate? Good. Did yeah. you enjoy? Yeah. Because she's like half and half believe, aren't you? Yes. Hang on, she's yes. just putting about on one sec. Sorry for the beeps. You're right. Got it? Yes, she was very good, and I was quite surprised with the names that she came out with. Yeah, like um, she said my, I, like my granddad's name, and like it was mad, wasn't it? Yeah, and he was talking. Yeah, like, and pass, she passed the messages on. What it, which what was wild, because like it was half tarot reading, half medium. She, yeah. It was like mixed in together almost, wasn't it? Because yeah. like, while she was turning the cards over, obviously we don't know what the cards mean, yeah. she would then say like, oh, I've got blah, blah, granddad, blah, blah here, you yeah. know? Yeah, she's very good. Um, it was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. And I like that we got a CD. Because, like, you yes. can't remember everything. It's so hard because you're there for an hour. Yeah. Aren't you? True. Um, so if you're local, um, we did get given a business card. She was called, like... Um, <laughs> she was called, like, Psychic and Reiki with Adele, was it? Adele, was yeah. It? Her name was Adele. Um, but if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, I feel like you... Like, I feel like, like no one said her, na like, her names or anything because like obviously no. like I said Jodie booked it and like she just texted her with Jodie's number you know and just said can I book two back to back appointments there was no names no nothing was there no. but we were intrigued whether she knew um, like that I was obviously because I went in first and then Nanny went in after whether she knew like if we were related I think by the end definitely because I feel like 
we have similarities, don't we? Like, yeah. it, let us know if you think we look alike. Because people say that I look like my mum, and then, but then my mum also gets told I look like my nan, so I'm assuming we have some similarities, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the brown eyes. I mean, while we've both got bleach blonde hair, <laughs> if we both had natural hair, had our brown, <laughs> our brown hair, maybe um, we'd look even more like, like if we all had my mum's hair. Okay. I bet we'd look like triplets, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you're sceptical, I 100% recommend going because I feel like it will... Um, make you think like hmm especially if you've lost somebody or like because she's a bit about the future and a bit about the past yeah, isn't she yeah. which is nice because i feel like when it's like as, as much as it's nice to know like if your loved ones are there regardless like it is the past isn't it so like it's nice to know about a bit a bit about the future too yeah like it gives you a bit of an, an insight yeah yeah and if it comes true then it's even more wild But yes, yeah, so we're, um, we're off to Sainsbury's and I will see you, I'll catch up with you later when we probably take the dog's walk. I forgot to bring the wash in. Oh, I know, I'm so annoyed. I might drop it around later. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, guys, I will catch up with you in a bizzle. Okay, okay bye everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>
As I told you, I'm due on my no, you're not. period. No, not so I'm gonna. You've got to boil the thingy. There's three sizes. So there's one for teens who need, or well, those need a smaller size. One for who haven't given birth for virgin, for vaginally, and then one who has given birth. So I just got the size A, which is people who haven't given birth. Um, and then it tells you, I think you just boil it. Um, you should boil it and sterilise it for three to five minutes. And then there's different methods to put it up. And I was speaking to Jode. You and she's and, wow. and she said um, there's different methods that you can use to put it up there. But the best one she found was like, you put it like a C. Have you seen what he's doing? He's tapping me to stroke him and then he's growling when I stroke it. We think, I'll tell you in a minute, but I think you do this, put it up your vagina and then pop open and it's meant to catch the blood. I don't know how high you put it up or anything, but I'm just intrigued and it's organic, it's got no chemicals in, um, it's like literally meant to be good for you. It's like a healthier and it works up to 12 hours, meant to be comfortable to sleep in. Rolo, you've eaten. So I'm going to try it. I also like... The English tea that I showed you yesterday, the comfort make what comfort one, enjoying. So I'm gonna boil we've just boiled the kettle for the tea, it smells nice. Um and then I'm assuming you just I don't know how you wash it, maybe just warm water. But Joe said bob it about in the boiling water. Um so I'll let you know how I get on, like how I put it up, how painful it is and all that good stuff because I mean I haven't come on my period yet but I will let you know when I have and I'll tell you it all folds out and it's meant to be like I don't really know there's different there's it can contain more liquid than two to three super tampons oh Zinni I'm warm so yeah I don't really know. I'll let you know how I get on. But there's different ways you can insert it um, and pop it up. So we'll see. Oh, fuck off, Gary Neville. Right, bye bye. I'm going to boil my menstrual cup and try and get away from this negative behaviour. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Sunday. Sorry, I had a bit of mind blank then. It is 10.47. Um, we're a bit late out this morning because. We just had a bit of a slow morning, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, Dan gets up very early. I got up at eight today, though, so that was fine. I know, but most days in the morning you get up early, like in the week, yeah. and he doesn't really like it on the weekend. And then, honestly, last night was a rough sleep. Look at me, I look puffy. I, was, I look rough today. I was knackered last night. You're on a. You are every night. Don't act like it's a, a one-off. You cannot make it through one program or one film. Like you, let's say, oh, let's spend the night together. Unless we're in bed at five o'clock, we can't because he just fucks it up all the time. No, as soon as my head hits the pillow. You're asleep. I, I just get. Should we watch relaxed. a film? So I'm like, I never put one on that's any good because I know he's just gonna snore for it and I can't hear it. We watched like, the Simpsons last, movie last night. Yeah, I wouldn't know because I wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> I wasn't that bad. You were, and then what annoys me? I wasn't asleep. I mean, if it, yes, you fucking were. Well, when I've got my eyes closed, it doesn't feel like I've been asleep for that long. Yeah, we have because, and then he opens his eyes as if he's watching it, and he doesn't even know what part of the movie. No, it I is. do, I do, I do. So you Yo, have ABC. Huh? What the fuck? What's that? What's ABC? You have an amateur boxing club. Or I be lived up in? Maybe, huh? maybe there's a local fighter. Maybe two. You never know. Maybe. Small world. Small, small world. But we're going for a dog walk. Um, what, so it just fell out your head then? Yeah, I had a scab on the back of my neck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I've got a blur on the camera. Wait, we're okay. I look very pale today. I'm giving paler than Dan and that worries me. Um, so I will be in deep fake tanning tomorrow night. That worries me. Um, so. Yeah, I had a rough sleep last night, so I couldn't get to sleep. I was, and I was like, I put something on, couldn't sleep. And I wasn't tired, but then, like, I was tired, but I wasn't tired enough to go to sleep. But then, like, I was bored of watching The Simpsons because I couldn't hear it because of someone snoring. So I was like, okay, I'll turn it off, yeah. So I turned it off. And then I put Harry Styles' sleep story. So I was like, what do I want to listen to? And, like, it was like, you know, thank you for choosing the story of me. He's you know? such a sexy man, he is. Um, 
I don't remember what he was saying. Like, we were just doing a few deep breaths, you know, in the night, Harry. And then I woke up at... So this was about quarter past 11 that I'd finally probably fell asleep because I turned the TV off about half 10, 20 to 11 and I know it had been a while because I was bored of being awake and then I must have just drifted off before I turned Harry off. So then I woke up at 12, 40, 1, 30, 2, 15, 3, 4, 30, 5, 5, 45, then fell asleep and I was, I was on my house on TikTok at some point to the night, I was so bored, like I was like, I felt, I was in such a light sleep, like it was awful and I was dreaming and oh, it was just rough to be honest. Um, so, but, so I felt a bit grumpy when I woke up and then, um, Yes, and then we have just gone to Asda and we're going to go and take the dog's walk. So we got a protein shake. I got, I probably, I, in my mind I'm going to have this, but whether I actually eat it, I don't know. I have a chocolate. I don't really usually eat them. And then I got some protein yoghurt each. And then I got some fruit. Um, and we're going to go and take them on a new walk over the chase. We're going towards Stafford. And that's it really. And then we've got to do the weekly shop. Um, providing that I feel like I do now go to the gym later, I'm going to tidy up the house and then anything else we've got to do? I've got to edit the vlog for tomorrow, this vlog, is that it? Yeah. Yeah? So, so that's our Sunday plans. Um, so I will probably catch up with you on the walk. The dogs have got their suits on and they're ready to roll, they look so cute. Um, Come on, we're over the stones. Is he doing it? Okay guys, we have just been through shopping and went to Sainsbury's. And the conclusion is, it's expensive. It's expensive. Sainsbury's is yeah. expensive. So like normally I'd say my Tesco food shop, like with the same amount maybe, is like 80. But then, yeah. The only thing we got uh, uh, extra counter. for lunch. Is that okay or no? She letting me go off? I don't know what the fuck. No. So we got like, but I wouldn't say a lot of money extra. No, I wouldn't say an awful lot extra. So that would take it to like, I'd say like it's usually seventeen eighty. It costs. Yeah. Um. So. And that was that was it was 140, but with the nectar point, it took it down to 107. So it would it was going to be really expensive. But was it or was it 113? No, it was 130, wasn't it? Why well, have to look? I'm sure it was the receipt in the. Back. I know it was. It was definitely, it definitely was a lot more. Have a look in the receipt. So it's there, isn't it? We'll be able to tell you facts. I might have heard it wrong. I thought it was 130. 113. Oh, so we didn't say So we say all. five quid. That's it. Five quid out five, of 113 pounds. Five quid. I got, thought it was 130. We got a cooked chicken for free. That's it. So it ain't that great, is it? Not really. I thought the next prices would have saved more than five yeah. pounds. But then, like, that pot of duck fat, that was three quid on its own. 
foot. And we're not doing five meals, it's six. Yeah. And today's lunch because we wanted something at four tonight. So yes, that's the thoughts on the Sainsbury shop. We'll give you a haul when we got back, but we got to save the haul. We literally got no, not didn't really get any snacks. We literally got salad. We're gonna do home Chinese one night. Um, which is like chicken balls, duck pancakes, and some salt and pepper chips. Yeah. We're gonna do gyros. We're gonna do a breaded chicken. Breaded chicken. We've got breaded chicken steaks. And we're just gonna do like chips and veg. We're gonna have tonight. We're gonna have a cooked chicken, roast potatoes, and salad. Um, then we got pasta for one night. Tagatelli, wasn't it? Yeah, chorizo pasta, and then the fifth. Uh, what was the fifth? Oh, pomme oh, burgers. Yeah. So, yeah, and we did, but all we got was some salt and vinegar crisps, multi pack as a pack as a snack, and then we just got um, two gammon chanks and two chicken legs for today's lunch, and then we got we didn't get anything. I Dan got a Red Bull, um, and that's it, I think. So, we've done the shop, it's two o'clock, and we're really quite hungry, we haven't really eaten. Oh, I'm starving, I feel freezing cold. It feels like one degree. And yes, that is the vibe over and out. TTYL. Hello. I'm a bit emotional. I'm gonna blame it on the period, but I don't know if it is. I just feel a bit rubbish and I don't know why. But I just wanted it to come I think and end the weekly vlog because I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and drained and I don't know why. I'm just going to say it's the period I think. Um, but we, um, what have we been doing? We tidied all the house, um, like hoovered, mopped, done everything and then um, I had a bath and then we, um, Dan's gone to the gym and I've scrubbed, well, I've scrubbed most of my tan off. I haven't managed to scrub all of it off. As you can see, I'm going to try and tan tomorrow night because my event in London. So I'll probably tan. Um, probably, I'll tan tomorrow night and I'll, I'll scrub some more of my tan off. Um, but I'm going to sign off now. I'm editing this vlog right now and you'll hopefully see it tomorrow night. There's a lot of footage. I don't realise how much I've got. Usually it's like two and a half, three hours. There's six hours of footage. No, sorry, five hours of footage. And I do not know how I've got that much, to be honest with you. So I am going to start editing that. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Always grateful for you. And yeah, I hope you have the best week. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye. This is editing me here. Please don't take me too seriously. I was a day away from my period. I was very hormonal, but I just wanted to say, yeah, that was a bit of a sad way to leave the vlog, but I'm absolutely fine. I love you guys and I hope you enjoy. Bye.